Inspiration can come from all sorts of places. And in this case, it's literally driving around the country. It's called the Ula Tour Bus, and they have one goal, to go to all 50 states and make one million dreams come true. And here to tell us all about the unusual concept of the Ula Tour Bus are the creators, and this is Troy Amdahl and Dave Braun. Welcome, guys. Thanks. Thank so it's so good to be here. All right, so what made you decide to do a dream bus? We, we told a story a few years back on a book we wrote about living a life that's rich and full, and it took off organically. It was a self-published book, and we struck a nerve with people that were so busy going from point A to point B, they had no balance in life. And they were they somehow, when they were kids, they wanted to be Batman and be a fireman and, and a nurse and a doctor and a lawyer, and all of a sudden, their dream got lost in the day-to-day -day path they're on. And we found that we'd, we'd put a, a Sharpie in their hand and a sticker and say, what do you want for your life? Most people didn't know. And we also found there was great power in declaring positive change that puts people back on their unique path on this planet. All right, and what kind of dreams are you seeing people ride on the bus? We're seeing the most amazing dreams, but it seems like the best dreams are when we're driving and someone just waves us down. And it happened last night through Central Florida. We're driving, it was late, and there's a guy standing in the middle of the road doing this. And we're like, okay, this could be dangerous, but we're pulling over anyway. <laughs> and we pull over, and this guy walks up to the bus, and he has a beard on, he's a big burly guy, and he, he starts to touch his heart. And he says, I don't know what my dream is. And those are always the best dreams is when they have to sit and they really have to think, because they lost it in this unbalanced world. If they've gained a little weight, and they're in a little bit of debt, and they're trying to struggle to find balance, and they can't. And it's when they put it on the bus to find purpose, or even little kids wanting to be Batman or being potty trained are always great dreams. But there's so many dreams in this bus that it's just hard to pick like one or two. And I want to back up because I think I glossed over it, but people are literally riding their dreams and they're putting them on the bus as a physical sense of saying, you know what, this is what I'm going to work on. It's exactly right. I mean, we, we realize that you have, to, you have to consciously think about what you want. You can't, it's not a wishing well. Like, I hope I have more money. I hope my marriage heals. I hope I get fit. What do you really want for your life? And we found out that if people really think about it and take the time to put a Sharpie in permanent ink on a sticker and slap it on the side of this bus to declare positive change, our mission is to change the world with this one word, ULA. And it's not going to be some outside in healing. It's going to be us as individuals becoming better individuals. And as, as if everything that's happened on this bus, we're 26,000 dreams, six layers thick on our way to a million. If everyone makes this happen, the world's just a little bit better. And not only these people, their families will become better. The people around them, the team and community will become, Sarasota will become better. And that's how we're going to change the world. One, right. per, one dream at a time. Well, let's take a little walk because I want to see some of the dreams people have placed on this bus. And I heard that the back of the bus has some of the really good ones. Well, this is actually this is actually a dream right here from the guy that flagged us down on on the middle of the road right there. He just wanted to find more purpose, and it's when you whenever you see tears and eyes, you know that that's when someone's really uh, tugging at something they really want to make change in their life. And there, there's dreams all over the back of the bus. Uh, Have you? Are there any other good ones? Like right here, it says, "Let's see, be a better dad and husband." I like that one. Too bad I'm not a dad or a husband. <laughs> all right, this one says. Live above wellness line, or live See, above the wellness line. Like this. This, this is unique. This is Orlando Pro-Am. Uh -huh. So that's, if you don't know what that is, that's a skating competition. So this is the cool thing about Ula, and I think it, why it's so sticky, is the dreams that he has, I don't want to be a pro skater, um, but he does. So er, we all have unique dreams and abilities. I, we've been in a society that we're told that if you make this much money, drive this car, live in this neighborhood, you'll be happy. And the point of Ula is your Ula is your Ula. It, whatever you want, that you can spend hours just reading this bus because whatever you want for your life is unique to you. That's what makes this world amazing is that we're all different and we have different skills, gifts, and abilities. Speaking of amazing and different skills, you started off with a book you mentioned already. You wrote a book, but now there's another book. Tell us about the new book. We've been friends forever, and what happened is I lost my ULA. I lost my balance in life, and I was I found myself divorced and living in a motel years ago. And I reached out to this guy, who's the ULA guru, who is retired at 42, married, housed around the world. And I said, I need to get my ULA back. And I said, when I do, we'll write a book about it. And a couple years later, we wrote ULA, Find Balance, Unbalanced World. And from that book, this bus started. That book turned into this process. And now we signed a three-book publishing deal with the first one coming out, ULA for Women, in a couple days. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And I think, Jeffrey, you have one of the books over here. I do, I do, I do. All right, so. So this is the interesting story. Is This was self-published. This is like we just told a story. Um, some celebrity and social media took a hold of it and went crazy. And then we got the attention of the original publishers of Chicken Soup for the Soul. And they said, we like what you guys are doing. And we see the ULA message as a series. So on May 2nd, which is Tuesday, they're dropping this book, ULA for Women, specifically for women. This is our stories. This is 42 women we've met along the way. Oh, wow. 
that, that are going to inspire women because they have different challenges. The, women are the natural multitaskers. <laughs> You're working, you have family, I'm sure you have fitness goals, you have goals like this too. The, and they do it with a smile on their face and it's hard to say no. They're pleasers typically and this, this is so relatable to women because there's 42 stories that will speak to the heart of women with the same principles, life changing principles that are in the original ULA book. Well, I love the concept, and in fact, we've already been st got started on it. We decided to put our dreams to paper, and we're going to go over here. Let's start with Linda. What did you write? Okay. I hate to admit, lose weight, because my life would be perfect if I were at the ideal would. weight. <laughs> then I want to see the world. So I'm going to put my stickers on, and I expect to be thin very soon, guys. Stephanie, what All right, you put yours on. I made an ULA family goal. I want to spend better time with my kids. You know, not that run around stress time, like the sit down, play a game of cards, keep it simple. So I want good, happy, quality time with the kids because they're going to grow up and leave me. So that's where that is going. I always come back. <laughs> that's a different problem. If you're lucky. Um, I'm going an ULA fitness goal, and I want to sweat daily in a good way because I want to be in good shape for my future husband, or my husband, but yes, he's a, fit he's a, he's a, he's a fitness trainer. You're already married. I am married. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm writing minds right now, and I think that I want to take time for myself. A lot of times I get so bogged down in what other people want and what do people expect from me that I tend to not do what I think is best for me. So that is what I'm going to write down on this, and um, pretty soon I'll put it up there. But I want you guys to keep in mind that this book is going to be released coming up soon, so you want to go to their website and actually get more details about it, and also keep a lookout for this bus. It will be driving around the Sun Coast in the next few days and then moving on to other states so you want to keep it out just in case you go home for a couple months and you're just here for a few months all right well we'll be right back